Ben Benny Free Production. Hello, Waggers! I've been involved with Green Lane and Off-Roading for a couple of years now. I've progressed from writing reviews of trips to making videos. Be a tricky thing to do because driving off road usually means you're bouncing around all over the place and it's in pretty harsh conditions. I've experimented with lots of different gear and had mixed results. Here's a good example of the kind of problem I was getting. I'm shooting this with a handheld camera from inside my brother's car and the screen's dirty and we're bouncing around all over the place every time we hit a rock and you can see the sun reflecting back off the windscreen as well. The other problem with these kind of cameras is they need to be inside the car with you. So you get all that issue with the windscreen and light reflecting and shaky because of where you're sitting. And then they have to be mounted somewhere properly so you can get on with the business of driving. Like with the cameras, I tried a lot of mounting solutions. Most seem to be the single sucker type or ones that strapped to the A bars of the car's bonnet. Taking all this into account, I realised that I needed my setup to have good quality cameras, I needed them to be positioned outside of the car, they needed to be stable and weatherproof because they're outside of the car, and I wanted them to give me a nice stable platform to shoot other people. So after a little bit of research, it's what I came up with. It's the uh, Kodak's PlaySport ZX3, although the ZX5 is very similar. All of the battery compartments and the memory slots uh, have sort of rubber seals around them so they're nice and watertight. As is the on button on the side, which has a nice clear white lead indicator to let you know it's on. And again, when you want to start recording and you press the record button, there's a very clear audible sound to let you know it's doing that. And again, when you switch it off, so you know you switched it off. I also discovered the camera comes with a cool little remote, so very simply from the comfort of your driving seat you can switch the camera off and back on again um, and the footage is nice and clear and simple. I then started to look around for a much more professional uh, mounting solution and I uh, found this great little bit of kit from VAC Mounts and you can see a link to uh, them on my YouTube channel. It's got this really strong triple sucker system that locks it really firmly down in place. And then very simply, the Kodak camera could be screwed into position on a, a standard camera fitting. And the mounting system on the top of this triple sucker is really good and you can customise it and move it around to any sort of place you want so you can get the best video footage. The email address for the company that does these VAC mounts is shown above. But they have said that if you've seen this video and you quote low ranges when you buy from them, they'll give you a 10% discount off the price of this VAC mount. So then here's the camera on the uh, front of my Defender mounted using this VAC mount setup uh, and this one's set up for forward facing shots obviously. And I think the combination of this mount, the image stabilisation on the camera and it being positioned over the front axle gives you really smooth footage. The other thing I like to do is position the camera just so you can see an inch or two of bonnet and it gives you some orientation and an idea of how much the car is pitching and tilting. Just like that there. But generally, look how smooth that footage is. And then compare that to the handheld stuff I was shooting previously. So this is how it all goes together, and that's the forward camera mounted on the front of my Defender. And moving around to the back of the car, you can see how I put the uh, rear-facing camera on, which gives me some really good footage. You can see how it tucks away here as well, alongside the spare wheel, so it's nice and protected. So all faster set up and nice and easy to use. This bit of footage shows just how stable you can get that rear camera and how well it captures the vehicles that are following you. It sounds never been a massive issue to me because I just dub it out later on anyway, but even so this camera picks up a nice bit of background engine noise which just adds to the video. So I'll just 
just finished this video now by giving you a few hints and tips of the kind of things I use with that setup I've just demonstrated. With this camera for a decent action shot you're far better off shooting at 720 at 60 frames per second. There's other similar cameras out there but I think the image stabilisation is the major benefit. It really is worth spending that few extra quid on the vac mount because it just makes it so easy to snap your cameras on and off the car. Hopefully that's given you all a few ideas to mess around with, but if anyone's got any questions, just drop me a line on the YouTube channel. God say that rubbish. <laughs>